This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Welcome back. When you go see a play, we see the final production side of it. But do you know what goes on before the show? Well, Good Morning Heartland is on the go. Samantha Croy is live in Macon with a behind the scenes look for us. Coming to you live, this is Good Morning Heartland on the go. Thanks, Ella, and good morning. I'm live in Macon this morning. And to all the viewers out there, Ella let me dress myself this morning. That's why I'm in this beautiful getup. And I am here, like I said, in Macon, right down the street from the Maples Repertory Theater at the costume shop. So a nice little sneak peek for us. I'm here with Todd Davidson, who is the artistic director. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Now, a lot of excitement goes on here, and you're planning for the 2015 season. Right now, you're currently in the off-season. That's right. But, you know, you're always at work. That's exactly right. There's always something doing, planning for the next season. The costume crews are now around the United States. Mm -hmm. um, designers and all are working on uh, designs for the season, so they'll come here in, uh, starting in the first part of June, and uh, they will figure out what we need for the season and begin to stitch it. Either find it somewhere or you know, start from scratch with a bolt of cloth and a pile of paper and they'll pattern and all that kind of thing. They're very important because if the actors and actresses are anything like myself, we can't dress ourselves. <laughs> That's exactly so right. We don't me, trust them to do right, that. Right, exactly. So tell me a little bit about what I'm wearing here. What was this used Okay, in? this is a cape from the uh, Winter Wonderettes, which was our show that just closed in, in December. All the girls, there's four girls in the show, so if you had three counterparts here, you yes. could get your other colors, but you chose the pink. I did, you know. a little pink for my yep. girly side. That's right, so uh, here on the racks are stuff from past shows. These are dresses from uh, Pirates of Penzance that the costume shop constructed here. You know, and this is a, an example of a show, of a of a garment that they would have patterned, started mm -hmm. with, you know, done uh, fittings on all the people, done a mock-up, uh, where they just make the clothes in some other strange piece of material before they do it in the final material mm -hmm. to make sure that it's going to work. And these are elegant items, too. These aren't just thrown together, made to look like they look nice, you know, from the stand. Correct. But they actually have substance to them. They're heavy. And they're almost exactly like how they would have been in years. That's exactly right. Our resident costume designer, Jack Smith, is really a specialist in historical costumes. Um, last summer, he was in Europe and did uh, research over there. And so he brings a lot, a wealth of knowledge to us. You know, all the kind of different sort of ways that things go together are, you know, really are authentic. Well, very exciting. Thank you so much for giving us a sneak peek. When we come back, we're going to go through the casting side of actually getting all the actors and the actresses set for their roles when we come back, of course. But reporting in Macon, Samantha Croy, KTVO News. Do you ever wonder what it takes to put a play together? I always wonder that. From sound check to stage setup to costume changes, there's a lot of work that goes into it. Mm -hmm. And Samantha Croy is actually giving us a behind-the-scenes look with a backstage pass. Oh. Good Morning Heartland is on the go. Coming to you live, this is Good Morning Heartland on the go. That's exactly right, Ella. A lot goes into the behind the scenes as far as props and costumes, but even before that is what we're talking about. Again, I'm live in Macon this morning at the Maples Repertory Theater with Todd Davidson, who is the artistic director. And right now in front of us, we have headshots because, of course, when you pick the show that you want to do for the 2015 season, then you have to go through, okay, who works best for this spot? And you have to go through the casting. So tell me a little bit about the process here as far as getting in the headshots and resumes. Right. A lot of what I do is just try to get a company of technicians and actors together. We're going to all live together for eight or ten weeks and so uh, it's really an interview process there's a lot of talented people out there that we see but we also have to try to kind of make the right mix and also we we do three main stage shows in the season so we really want people who can travel on a track from a, a role in this show next show next show so so a lot of times we're trying to find people who are really multi-talented uh, all the month of February I spend interviewing people, um, auditioning. I go to several big group auditions where we see people from all over the United States. I've seen this year already over a thousand actors and uh, each one of them has 90 seconds to do their shtick and for us to kind of look at it and then see if we want to talk to them some more. Also I get, uh, always all year long get uh, video 
things from, you know on email people send me solicit I'm interested in your season here's my here's my reel so I look at people that way and so now we're gonna finish up Saturday here at the theater from 10 to 2 we'll see people here at the theater so folks will drive in from Kansas City and local people who might want to be part of the of the season are welcome to come out sing for us and let us hear what you have to say or or uh, a monologue or tell us a joke or if you're a technician you know bring your resume of what you do and we still have some positions to hire absolutely and that's what makes your show so great is that you're pulling from all of these different areas to get the very best so we definitely look forward to the 2015 season thank you so much for joining me this morning we have a lot to go through here I'm gonna help him out Samantha that's a good name it looks good we're gonna go with her but for now I will go ahead and send it back to you